when you played, how did you balance great nutrition for your body? It wasn't also- like that when I played. We didn't give a darn. We were bad shoe. We was eating ox- oxtails and going out to the practice. What's going on, world? I'm George Kill, and welcome to a brand new episode of Athletes, where we show you how student athletes are fueling themselves across the country through nutrition. Next up, Sco Buffs. All right, Coach Prime, you always say, if you look good, mm-hmm. you play good. Well, you feel good. You gotta feel good. You gotta feel good first. Now, if you eat good, mm-hmm. you live good and you live right. That was one of the first things that we attacked when we came. Two major things, components that will make a mother or a father or a parent, a guardian feel comfortable. What is my baby gonna eat? Where is my baby gonna sleep? You know, growing up, I didn't realize how important nutrition was until I started getting older. It demanded a lot of us as an athlete, and I think having the right nutrition can help you, you know, perform at the highest level you need to. Honestly, in high school, I would not eat well at all. It was fast food after practice, and if I had to rush out the door for school, I wouldn't eat breakfast, things like that. And so now being a student athlete and having more loads every day, it's really important to fuel your body correctly. We have nutrition sessions like every other week. We're super educated on our nutrition. So I think that's something that's really played a big part in like my transition from high school to college athletics and just like the resources that we have available here. Nutrition has been such a big part of my career at CU, especially as a, a large endurance athlete. I'm abnormal for an endurance athlete being 6'5", 180 pounds, that's it's big. And so I have to consume so many calories, not just to run, but to maintain, and then also to grow as an athlete, to get stronger, to get faster. The thing that I've learned the most at CU to do really well is run a lot, but eat a lot, and actually treat eating just as important as I have to treat running. We have tremendous support staff, and we just happen to have a diamond that all he needed was opportunity. The lines are packed, but it's, it's unbelievable because He's a chef at heart, but he understands the appeal and the attractability for all ethnicities. Because now we gotta do a little season with this. We gotta do a little this with that. The international cuisine here is different. We've done highlights on nutrition right. programs across the country, but this is the only one that has nutrition internationally. How impactful is that for your program and just- oh, We got students from everywhere, man. And it's like a big happy family because when the football team is eating as well as the coaches, they go to the soccer team right there. That's what that goes to the ski team. That goes to the volleyball team. That's the basketball players. Let's not forget the track runners and cross country runners. So we all gather in one place and uh, it's a wonderful atmosphere, but we've created a tremendous atmosphere that could not be established if the necessity of the food wasn't good. I've noticed your influence in there as well. I see the international, but I know where you're from. We, we're from the same yeah, yeah, area. Okay. So I see sweet tea, I see oh. cornbread. I see oh, when they did the sweet tea, it was over. Chef has been excellent, even opening his heart and his soul, because he's a chef, man. You know, some chefs are just egotistical. He's willing to listen and learn even at his age and stage of his excellence. Honestly, since Coach Prime has got here, you have seen a big shift in culture. I think there's a lot more diversity within the school now. And so you see that with a lot more Southern type of foods, which is nice. Yesterday we had chicken katsu and Asian cuisine. And that's like my favorite thing that we stay served here for sure. They added like things like a salad bar, a burger bar and a pasta bar along with the smoothie bar. So it's really easy to find something. Prime came in. Suddenly we got dinner every night, which we didn't have previously to prime. Suddenly I can get done with practice. And then instead of having to go home and get ready and cook to be done in time to do homework and go to bed, I can maybe spend an extra 45 minutes doing rehab in the training room or spending a little extra time in the cold tub. Some days they have steak days, lobster days. Um, it's balanced though, it's not just straight meat. You know, there's vegetables, you know, the nutritionists here, they, they harp on having a balanced diet. Today I had salmon and it was absolutely delicious. And I'll t- <laughs> tell you this little story. I've never been very fond of Brussels sprouts. I always say I like every vegetable except Brussels sprouts, but I had them here last week and I liked them. 
what he does with Brussels sprouts is out of this world. <laughs> they were really good. Being a big guy, it's great to be big and strong. And I think now it's more key to fuel my body with the right things to stay big and strong. Working with the nutritionists to say, hey, I think by your, your, your blood panel, you know, your vitamin D is a little low. And so here's some foods and some supplement vitamin D that we can take that would help that. And then, oh, it looks like, you know, you're an endurance athlete, so you need 70% of your diet has to be carbohydrate. So here's some good, healthy carbohydrates. We had a hydration session, like a pre-fueling information session, and we learn a lot in them. And then we also have check-ins throughout the semester with our nutritionists. Through all the sports here, I think it's just really important to see how we're creating pro players here and that's the goal and that doesn't just start with practicing off the field and weightlifting that also comes with nutrition nutrition is almost like an offense and a defense in the special teams if nutrition is not on point you can forget it because not everyone comes in packaged and ready to go some guys need to gain some guys need to lose some guys need to lean out and you know chef got a chef can't just give you the plate he gotta do all his stuff and we ah, ah. You know, his presentation is everything to him, man. He does the doggone thing. And then uh, let me tell you something, man. First of all, I need a raise. Let's just get that straight. But he's worth every dime that they're paid. Because as much as our staff is a difference maker to this university, he's a difference maker to this university. He's a true game changer. All right, so yeah, we're getting ready for dinner service right now. Kind of doing that classic Americana steakhouse type menu. So we brought in some whole chickens. We cut those into eight pieces and we put a dry rub marinade on them. We're also doing ribeye steaks tonight. We fabricate those in house. We bring in whole ribeyes, lip on, and we clean those guys up and we cut some really thick steaks and grill those as well. Then we got crab cakes, probably my signature dish, something I really love cooking and that surf and turf feel. We're gonna do some maple butter cornbread that we make from scratch. My sous chef, Anthony, he has an incredible cornbread recipe. It blew your mind. Now we're doing a lobster mac today. Took some claw meat and some tail meat from some lobsters and we made made a white cheese sauce, also known as a Mornay. And we're gonna to top that with some toasted breadcrumbs. We got baked potatoes, gotta have steak and potatoes, all the toppings with bacon bits, green onion, sour cream, and cheese. Then we're doing a broccolini tonight, grilled broccolini, and then a Caesar salad. Probably the guy's favorite thing to eat uh, as far as veggies go is Caesar salad. So we're looking to get some, some good veggies in them. Caesar salad's the way to go. And then up front, we have kind of a little uh, self-serve island. We mix that up. So tonight we're gonna to do grilled cheese sandwiches. We get some really nice local sourdough. We do provolone, yellow American, and yellow cheddar. And then you got a pair of grilled cheese with some nice tomato soup. Okay, Chef Carl, nutrition. What does that mean to you when you think of that word and how you use it and implement it here? It means the fuel for these guys and girls to, to train and compete at a really high level. You know, they're not like your average person, you know, working out, hitting the gym. Uh, they're at a D1 Power 5 school, really high demand on them physically. And we know that if you're not fueling your body properly, that, you know, you have less of a chance of performing at a high level. What is your approach for your student athletes and wanting them to have an expansive diet and be able to try new things. Education is huge, right? As somebody that's been cooking for a while and, and loves, you know, all kinds of food and, you know, global cuisine, I think it's important that I do a little part in that to educate and, you know, show these guys something different and something new. Colorado Boulder, there's a lot of different people that, that come here. Very reflective of your staff. Your staff is from a lot of different countries. Our team has increased in size significantly from when I started here. Just to name a few, I have several colleagues from Tibet and Nepal and China and India, all over the United States. I'm from Texas originally. One of my sous chefs is from Florida. My friend of the house manager, she's from North Carolina. Our student workers, like you said, a lot of international students. So we have some from Spain, uh, Venezuela, India, China. So they're all over the place. If my guy from Spain could give me a little insight on how to make that best paella, how they do it back home or how his mom did it. You know, I love hearing about that. So it's really cool to glean some, some knowledge and experience from these guys. Another thing I noticed is the atmosphere. Food is gonna bring any atmosphere to a higher level. Um, but you guys had a, a DJ in there, uh, all of these different various bars. The camaraderie is just amazing in the nutrition area. I'm getting a little spotlight here and thank you for that. But uh, there's a whole team of people in there that are making this happen. You know, I'm not doing this by myself. And 
It's in the kitchen, that's in admin, HR, and all across, you know, athletic department, everybody's playing a huge role. I kind of came up in that classic kitchen upbringing and had some crazy chefs that, you know, are always screaming and throwing plates and just verbally abusive and it's hard to work in that environment. So I just always tell myself, you know, when I get to be in that place, you know, when I'm the leader of the kitchen, that's not gonna be how I do it. You earn that respect. We have a really hard job down there. So, you know, if I'm not earning their respect and, and putting my work in too, like they're not gonna put up with the demands of the job. So I think that's super important to get the job done and to put out the best food that we can.